either get good or quit. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. And look, I'm your host, Beaker. We got Melly and Pie up there. I mean, we just got Melly's butt, I guess. Cool. The gang is back. Hey, so we're over here on our max base. I love this base, dude. It, it's it's max, essentially, right? The only thing we have left is a couple of walls. So when we get into war on this base, I expect us to kill it. You know when you get into war, pretty late in the war, right? Like the, there's a couple hours left. You haven't attacked yet, but you're here to, to attack now. And the war's already lost. And like, not only is it already lost, every one of your longtime friends and clanmates have been three-starred. I mean, even, even, the, even the best, like Bala. How does this happen? Like I quit. Like... I don't know if I ever want, I, I think I would be scared if I was in a clan that could do this all the time because the pressure would be ridiculous. But you know what makes me, guys, we gotta check these out in a second, but you know what makes me the most upset and maybe just makes me wanna say I quit for real? They have one attack that they didn't even have to use. Oh, okay, there I am. That's my main base. The one we just looked at that we just said, pretty much max. It's got a couple of walls that gotta be done, but the walls are amazing. The heroes are max, troops are max, defenses are max. We're one of the lowest people in our clan. But right now, I want to show you guys how and what I thought was going to be an underdog, right? Like level 16 clan, you know, you can't look at a clan like that and be like, yeah, they're going to three star all of us. Well, they did. Let me show you guys. I think we should look at some of Vexed, uh, Vex's attacks because look at that. Again, he's like the dude who gets cornered and is like, it's all good, man. Not going out without a fight. Can, can we get like a, like a, like a sword swinging sound effect right now? Or like a... What's that sound effect called? Like the guy... Please edit this part out of the video. <laughs> but guys, you know what was the most upsetting to me? As, as well as the fact that one of them hasn't even attacked yet. And it's... Wait, what? Did they leave the clan? Why does their XP bar say nothing? That looks really cool. Shadow Sniper, cool name, cool, cool logo there. With like, no XP number on it? That looks sick. So it kind of looks like they just did an attack and then left. Oh, okay, fair enough. They don't even need to come back. It's all good. But look at the first attacks, guys. Some of these first attacks were three stars right out of the gate. Are you kidding? Okay, look at their number one player, TC. Just steps up to bat like, all right, I'm going to hit two home runs in a row and then does it. All right, guys, so I kind of love looking at this section right here. And plus the total destruction at the top, 100%. I love that it says like TC. Three star, TC three star. Then Blackbeard steps up uh, two minutes later, or minutes later, like, okay, I'm gonna go on, on in on this beaker noob. And uh, if I fail, uh, Mitra, you up? And yep, that's what happens. But guys, what did happen on, on, on Blackbeard's? Hang on, I, I wanna check this out. Yo, look at that queen, that goofy jungle queen skin. I love that thing. Oh, is that sneaky goblin? Man, I always forget to use those with a queen walk. It's really smart, but you know what? Also seems like something, like I would have died right there. You know I would have. I would have somehow failed that. I would have somehow died. And that's the difference between like these pro level players. I don't know if you call these pro level players, but they're pro to me. Like they're awesome to watch. Even if you are the one getting completely destroyed, it's fun to watch. And right there, dude, look, we're trying to roast this queen so bad. Like, okay, roast. She somehow gets away. Oh, she didn't get... Okay. But guys, the thing that was weird to me, look at this. I thought they had me. Like if I had been watching this live, I would have been like, you got me, dude. You've got me. And then at the last second, they quit out. Is, are they just like stunting on me? Are they like, I could have three-starred you. I'm just going to quit out. I don't know, man. Maybe they just weren't feeling good about the raid. Maybe they were like, okay, I'm not going to three-star it. Or maybe they didn't have enough time. I didn't even look at the time. You saw what happened next though, right? Oh, I love that queen skin. Guys, this is, of course, the one that absolutely destroyed us. You can almost see similarities here, right? Like, we're seeing kind of just, uh, we're not going for the town hall here. We're going for the opposite side. We're trying to get the really... Again, man, I would have died there. I would have died at the last second, and the Inferno would have been sitting there with one health, one hit point, and my queen would have been dead on the ground. Cool. Cool. That's what makes a pro player, I guess. Cool. Anyway, man, I think what we saw... Are you just going to ignore my clan castle? Oh man, I'm getting trolled so bad here. I'm getting trolled so bad. Do balloons normally go this slow? Man, I am not used to balloons. They are so slow. Done. I'm done. What am I supposed to take from this? Like, <laughs> like, did we learn anything here? We learned that we 
got destroyed and it looked very easy and it made me feel like either get good or quit no wait i i saw this earlier but i like didn't believe it okay so mitra <laughs> isn't mitra one of the personas in persona 5 or am i what is mitra one moment here's what i found that's so awesome okay so i knew that persona if you guys have never played the persona games it's kind of like um like pokemon but with like these godlike figures that you know help you in battle it's so cool that they took these, you know, divine entities from all these different cultures and put it in the game. I just didn't know what Mitra was. That's awesome. Mitra's the name of an Indo-Iranian divinity from which the names and some characteristics. I don't know how to say that word. That's the awesome word. Wait, I want to see a picture of Mitra. Oh, I think that's the one they use in Persona. Or something, something like that, right? He's kind of a statue with like the snake. Okay, so now that we checked out Mitra and um completely got disconnected. All right, guys, let me get my bravery up here. I'm going to try to three-star. How about we try to three-star Mitra? Is it Mithra or Mitra? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I, I love it either way. I'm going to try to hit him up with the same army that they attacked us with. Because this was a fun army. It looks really fun. Again, I don't ever do air troops, so maybe I'll substitute hogs instead. Let me train it up, though. Cool. Go, go. All right, super bees. And super... Gobs. Cool, cool. There it is. Okay, so if Mitra attacked us with this exact army, like we're talking about, uh, it's mostly Lava Loon. I'm so bad at Lava Loon. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Actually, what if we try to revenge somebody else first? Oh, they're already three starred. The first person to attack us was Blackbeard. Okay, okay. What about the lowest person who isn't three starred? That would be, you know, that would make sense. You know what, dude? I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I'm gonna go for this. It's gonna be so bad. I have no idea if it's gonna work. I'm gonna go for it. All right, let's do it. Do, uh, so do I do, I do have wall makers, right? I'm like so nervous about this, dude. I never do raids like this. Let's go. So are we gonna do the balloon siege or are we gonna do the thrower, the catapult siege? We could do either. I feel like this base could be good for either, but we, we would have to take out those mortars. You know what? Let's, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. All right. There it is, buddy. There it is. Okay, so that's good over there. I mean, I wouldn't say good, but you know what I mean. <laughs> sort of. Let's get that right there. Oh, I could have done it with this. I could have done it with the Sneaky Goblin. Oh, no. She's not going to go in, is she? Oh, no. And I forgot to drop in the Ice Golem, too. Ah, this is going so bad already. All right, hit the King ability. We got to hit him. Drop you in the middle. Kind of did this differently than than the one that we saw, obviously. And I, look, I don't know if it's going to work at all. Uh, we're getting pretty low on time here. I think we should... Dude, we just lost our Ice Golem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so we got the Queen. We got the Queen. All right. Freeze. Freeze. Oh, we got the town hall. We got the town hall. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there, guys. Get out of there. Oh, my goodness. We got a couple more balloons, dude. I, I got to get that, though. I got to get that. Oh, come on. Get, the, get that in, uh, expo, whatever it is. If I only had another spell, we're so close. Dude, we did better on this than we had any right to do. Like, I've never done this raid. I got to think more about, like, funneling into the middle with the balloons. Because, again, I just never use balloons. With hog riders, you kind of don't... I mean, they're faster, right? So you can kind of just go with it and it works. I'm just used to hog riders. Balloons are similar, but I'm just not used to them. I always forget that our dude has like gloves on his little, little stubby, stubby T-Rex arms. We got one more try though. Should we go with our OG hog rider army or should we go with this? Hmm. Guys, I'm going on the list here looking at every single army that they used. It's all Lava Loon. Are these like the Lava Loon legends? Unbelievable, dude. Every single raid is this Lava Loon. Should we get good at this raid? Like, I, I don't... I don't think that's possible. I've never really liked Air enough to get good at it. So, as we said earlier, you know, get good or quit. I think that's our options right now. I was hoping that one of these people would have a Hog Rider army of some kind. Nope. Nope. We're not in Hog Country. We're in Balloon Country. Smoke, buddy. I think you made a mistake. Uh, Smoke's getting married. Or he got married. So, like he just did. So, 
one of the few times where you're not going to get kicked out for having your base like this. Hope your marriage went good, buddy. <laughs> well, guys, um, I tried to get my revenge um, and I got a one. Sorry. <laughs> you know what, though? Uh, not real happy about it, but I'll take it. When you get three starred, like when like when everybody in your clan gets three starred, you can get mad. But what's the point of that? You know what I mean? Like, I kind of do have fun. I mean, I get three starred pretty much all the time because I'm one of the lower people in the clan and, you know, I don't have max walls. But when everybody in the clan gets three starred, I think it's a good time to look at some replays, right? And like, see what happened. And why does a clan that doesn't look from a, from a, you know, from a sideways glance. This clan doesn't look like an absolute pro clan. Like their clan war league says gold, gold two. What, what is this? Relaxed? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Donations, probably farming. Okay. So I'm starting to feel worse guys. Did we just get, oh, did we just get destroyed by a farming clan? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, four for Paya. I'm trying to get some of these pictures of, like, it's just kind of funny to see. Maybe it'll go in the thumbnail or something, but it's kind of funny to see zero stars. And it's only because the bases were already hit, right? So there were no new stars. That's what that is. But it's kind of funny to see that against that, like, six stars. Oof. That doesn't look good. My, my thing says zero stars. And there it is, guys. That's all you got to see right there. Beaker, zero stars. All right, we love you guys. And we'll see you right here next time on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Don't get three-starred out there. And if you do, just try to laugh about it. It's all good. We're farmers for life. We, you know, we may do war, but <laughs> this ain't our, this ain't our world, man. It's, it's their world. It's Mitra's world. It's, it's theirs. Peace.